smoke and the mirrors and the lights and the lightning and the fireworks. Here come the St. Louis Rams. It's the NFL on Fox in a big battle in the NFC West. The Seahawks and the Rams. For the Seahawks, they're 0-5. Their last five tries away from Seattle. And the Rams not only 6-0 this year at home, but they've won 12 straight. They are tough to beat at home. Play action, Hasselbeck tosses to Mealy. He makes the catch and has a first down. You see what the Seahawks have done on third down, trying to convert here. It's tipped and incomplete. Tom ruined the punt. Looker is waiting for it over his head. And it takes a tremendous Seattle bounce. Mark Bulger has, you know, he's won games, as we see, 16 and 3 as a starter. He's. Well, it's coming, and Bulger is going to be sacked for a safety. That's Huff. Orlando Huff getting the start in the middle in place of Randall Godfrey came on a blitz, and it's 2 0 Seahawks. It's third down and seven. Hasselbeck steps up and fires. It is incomplete behind Butler. Third down and five. Pass to Looker. Dan Looker makes the catch for a first down. About at their own 29. Blitz coming. Brown is picked up and over the middle. The pass is caught. That's Isaac Bruce. He had to reach for it. And take some of the pressure off the of ball. Blitz coming again from Seattle. That pass is behind Holt and a late hit on Bulger is going to draw a flag. Joe, it's going to be pretty close. Damian Running Robinson passer, coming off the edge. 22 defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. It was clearly helmet to helmet as you're going to see Mark Bulger's headgear get snapped. Plus he leads with the crown of his helmet. Second down and five and they hand off to Falk. Marshall Falk bus free. Third down and 12. Sorry. Over the middle wide open is Furry. Trying to make a move for the first down and Furry gets it to the five. First down and goal and they hand to Falk. Nice cut up, touchdown. How about that drive? Well, it was a drive, Chris, that was extended by two defensive penalties for the Seattle Seahawks. So more mistakes defensively. Rams show blitz and they come. It's Archuleta blitzing. This is tipped and picked off by Fisher. Travis Fisher has it down inside the 25. And it's another takeaway for this Ram defense. Defensive backs work on that constantly during practice. At one point, the Seattle Seahawks had a two-game lead in their division, the NFC West over St. Louis, and now the referee in his sleep and just wakes up in a cold sweat. Third down and four. No penalty flag, and the pass for Bruce, wide open, touchdown. yards from Bulger to Bruce. Here's St. Louis. Seattle's got to get it going and they're going to try to do it here early on the ground and they do. Alexander into the open field into Ram territory. Blitz. Hasselbeck is sacked by Archuleta. And at the end of the sack it pushes Seattle all the way back to the 36 yard line. Trying to neutralize that pass rush, and more importantly, John Randall. On third down, Bulger down the middle, Holtz. Torrey Holtz. Dragged down from behind as he crossed the 40. For St. Louis, and today they're perfect. Another blitz, Bulger airs it out. Holtz, incomplete. That pass is caught by Jackson, and Jackson is caught by Archuleta. Under 10 to play in this first half. Play action. Hasselback over the middle for Mealy, the tight end, and he's got a first down inside the 45. Jamie Duncan in there at middle linebacker for Robert Thomas. Little is on the sideline, and Hasselbeck completes the ball. That's Mealy, another first down. He's back on the field now on first down. 
Draw play to Alexander. Hit the hole hard, and Alexander is down inside the 10 with another first down. First down and goal. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson. Penalty flag on the field in the back of the end zone. And it could be for taunting on that spike. They're content with the ball at the 40. Bulger comes to this side of the field and hits Cleveland. Looker at the bottom on third and three. Bulger lets it fly, and that's well played, but a flag comes in. Springs came around Furry for Seattle. Pass interference, 24, defense. Automatic, first down. It looked like he got him right there with his left hand. Bulger with a quick throw, and that is nearly picked off by Robinson. Blitz coverage looks, some opportunities down the field, baby. Bulger. Steps up and fires, looking for Holt. Torrey Holt, what a catch for a touchdown. An amazing adjustment by Holt to come back and grab it off the top of the turf. It's 20 to 9. They declared it so early. So Mark Bolger knew right now that he had one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, and he held it, held it, and was able to take advantage. Trufant having to play some of those crosses. Rams coming on another blitz. Hasselbeck finds his tight end. That's Mealy a big run out to the 45. There's pressure. Hasselbeck, Wistrom, another sack. Second down and 10, another throw. Bulger fires, and the pass is caught by Looker. He's got a first down. It's a first down for the Rams. The pass is picked off, intercepted, and that's Randall Godfrey coming up with a key pick for the Seattle Seahawks. Only playing because of the injury to Orlando Huff today, and they hand to Alexander. Nice move. Alexander out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Hasselbeck steps up, hits Strong, and Strong is brought down at the five, and I believe he has enough for a first down. Alexander trying to hop outside, tackled for a loss. Third down and goal. Hasselbeck fires, the pass is incomplete. Ingram, the intended receiver. Seattle has to settle for three. On the ground, Alexander's got a first down out to the 35. Play action from Hasselbeck, and the pass is caught. That's Robinson, his first of the day. Same thing that happened to them last week in Minnesota. Handoff with St. Louis in dime coverage. Blitz from St. Louis. The Hawks pick it up, and that's Aeneas Williams making a play, and a flag comes in. Well, we'll take a look at it. Aeneas Williams playing Bobby, Bobby Ingram on the inside. Defense. He holds him Five there. Five-yard penalty. Him out Automatic. First down. Hasselbeck fires down the middle. Archuleta knocked it down. Archuleta actually did the Seahawks a favor on that one. 38-yard try. And the rookie is true. Bolger with time fires and has Holt. And the throw is to Furry with blocking in front of him. What a play. And Furry has a first down. Krista, second down and 10. Springs came on a blitz. Holt is left all alone to keep hold of what is right now a playoff position. It's third down and one, and they hand to Falk. Marshall Falk. I don't believe got it. 33 yard try. And it's drilled by Wilkins, who has been third down and two. Pass is caught. That's Jackson. 
Jackson is down to the 20. Tyoka Jackson with pressure. Hasselbeck fires. Corin Robinson breaking tackles and diving close to first down yardage. Third down and one. Blitz coming. Alexander runs right through it. And Sean Alexander is down just outside the one. They marked Alexander down at the two. It's first and goal. Alexander gets it again. Fighting for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown, Seattle. And with the extra point coming, a chance to make it a two-point game. Pass is caught by Jackson working on Gross. They're going to blitz again. They're all coming. Hasselbeck throws, and it is incomplete. Ingram. Extra tackle, St. Clair in there for St. Louis. And they do hand to Falk, running over the left side. Marshall Falk, outside the 40. They do run it with Falk, and he picks up. Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk. 24-22. Coming up on the two-minute warning and a big third and four. Bolter trying to set up a screen. Marshall Falk. A huge first down for St. Louis. Instead, they hand to Falk. And the timeout taken by Seattle. That's their final timeout. 46-yard try to make it a five-point game. And he has been perfect. You can't expect any more from a place kicker. All right, Joe Buck, show you what the Patriots have done. They picked up their 10th straight victory. Play action, Tom Brady hooking up with Daniel Graham. 228 yards passing, two touchdowns on the day for Brady. And take a look at Mr. Barlow up the middle, three-yard touchdown run. It's tighter there, 41-38. Cincinnati nursing a three-point lead back to Joe Buck. Hasselbeck steps up and fires, has Jackson for a big catch. Blitz. Quick throw to Robinson. Gross with a tackle. The ball's put on the ground, but there's no fumble there. Thought there might be a booth review there. Hasselbeck steps up, goes to the end zone. The referee tripped him, and it is incomplete. Polly had it in his hands, dropped it, and the back judge played better defense than the Rams on that play, and now a fight breaks out. Because he did not get hit after throwing it. Here's the back oh end Oh, my of goodness. It. We have an incomplete pass. <laughs> Tommy Polly, the linebacker, was in decent position, but any chance of Ingram coming down with that ball wiped out. Third and one, Alexander up the middle. A first down, and it's time for the Seahawks to spike it. I think they're going to try to run a play here. But they are going to run a play. Hasselbeck finds Alexander in the backfield, but that goes nowhere, and the clock continues to run. Major error there. Whether or not Sean Alexander could have gotten out of bounds, he had to at least try to. Instead, he cuts back, trying to get back up the field. Hasselbeck buying time. This could be it for the game. Back of the end zone. It is incomplete. And there's a chance for one more play. Two seconds remain. The Rams will clinch the NFC West with a victory. Last play of the game, barring a defensive penalty. Hasselbeck looking for Robinson. It is incomplete. And the Rams have won the NFC West. And Rich Cody again. Back-to-back -back plays to seal it. And Marshall Falk, such a big reason why, late in the fourth quarter. JB is coming up. James Brown, after a hectic finish in St. Louis, it's all yours.